Hello friends, in this session we shall learn calculation of linear equation under time series and this we are going to do with the help of a case study. So here we have a case, here we have a question. A time series data for sale of tables for 9 years starting from 1993 to 2001 is given as under sequentially. So one after one. What we are supposed to do? We are supposed to do find out linear equation which describes the trend of this sale. And this is the linear equation the value of which we are going to calculate. Secondly, we have to give forecast for the year 2003. Friends, whenever we are going to calculate the time series problems, the first thing we have to decide is whether we are dealing with a linear equation or we are not dealing with a linear equation. If we are not dealing with a linear equation, then we shall be dealing with a parabolic equation. But here, linear equation has to be calculated. Hence, here we are dealing with linear equation. And for linear equation, this is the equation we shall calculate a value for. Another important thing. In time series data, whenever the number of items is even, then to find the value of x, we shall multiply x by 2. But here in our case, the number of items is 9, that is odd. Hence, this will not be required to be done. Well friends, now we can start with the solution. So first of all, we shall draw this table. So make the calculations in this table. In this table, here we have placed the years. And based on this year, we have calculated the mean. So total of these 9 items divided by 9, it will give us 1997. So this is the mean value of these years. And then we shall calculate the value of x. Here it is years, not months. So years minus mean. So this is year minus mean. So we get the value for 1993 minus 1997. We get the value for. And in the same way, we shall calculate value for all these. So we have calculated the value of x for each respective year. Now we add it up, it is a 0, hence x mean will also be 0. Now, if the number of these years was even, then this value was required to be multiplied by 2. But there is no need to do that. Hence, this portion is not applicable. Here, we have placed the value of sales. So all this information year wise we have placed here. In the next column we are trying to find out the value of x y means x value multiplied by y value. So minus 4 multiplied by 175 so we get this value minus 700. And in this way we can calculate value for all the years. So here we have placed that value. So we total it up here. So this comes 1702. We also put totals here. So this will be 119 because here there are certain negatives, minuses and there are certain positives. So ultimately this is the total. Then we calculate the value of x square. So minus 4 into minus 4 we get 16. Minus 3 multiplied by minus 3 we get 9. And in this way we calculate value for all the years as x2 value. Then we also total it up. Now based on this information, we shall make the calculation. So as I said, we have to find out the value of this. So this is the linear equation formula. Here we have to calculate value of a and then value of b and value of x, it is already given, already calculated. 
So to calculate value of B, we are going to make use of this formula. And this formula is a short form of this formula. In this formula, we have mean x here. Since mean is 0, so value of this portion will become 0. Similarly, here also we have mean, so value of this portion will also become 0. Hence, we have taken this portion of the formula in summary format here. And to calculate value of A, we need this formula. So based on these equations, now we shall calculate value of B and then value of A and then we place the value here in this equation. So first we calculate value of B. So summation x, y, 119. So this is x, y. This is summation. So we have put this value here. Then summation x square. So this is x square. This is the summation. So we have put the value here. Now 119 divided by 60. To value of B, it comes to 2. Approximately 2. Now similarly, we can calculate value of A. So this is the equation. So here we put the value. So Y mean average of Y. So this is total of Y. If we divide this total by 9 items, so there are 9 items, so 1702 divided by 9, so we get this value. And then we have B X mean. Since X mean is 0, so we put the value here, B multiplied by 0. So this value will be 0. So this means the value of A shall be 189.1. Now we can put this value in our formula. So 189.1, it represents A. So B here is 2. And then X, it is value of the variable. Now this is our linear equation, which describes the trend of the sale. So answer to our first question is this. And we have second question also. So linear equation, it is the, it is here. Now answer to question number three, we have to forecast the sale for 2003. So 2003 minus 1997, because this year minus the average, minus the mean, so we get the value six. So 2003 minus 1997, we get the value of x as six. Now in this equation, we place the value of x. So we have taken this equation. So we place the value of x as 6. And this way, we are able to find the value for 2003. So it is 201.1. So the forecast for 2003 for sale will be 201. So based on this trend, this is going to be the sale for 2003. Hence friends, we have been able to calculate first the linear equation and subsequently the forecast. So in this way we can calculate the forecast for any year based on this trend. Well friends, I am sure the contents of this video will benefit you and thank you for watching this video. In case you liked the video, please do not forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you once again.